So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triplin here. In today's video, what I wanted to show you is how to pair a new Fire TV remote with your Fire TV stick. Now this should work for your Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, or even your Fire TV television. The scenario for this is you broke your remote, lost your remote controller, no way to control your Fire Stick, and you just bought a new Fire Stick remote and you're looking to get this set up. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so here we are demonstrating on the Fire TV Cube. This is the, the newest Fire TV Cube. And I know that uh, for the Fire TV Cube, you can navigate to the menus. Like for instance, if I say, go to settings. So for the most part, you do have some command, voice command that you can use, but if you have a Fire TV stick, that won't be available. So you need to get this remote. It's not currently paired to your Fire TV stick. So there's a couple ways to do it. Some people say that if you go into pairing mode, it should automatically detect it. So let's go ahead and try that out. So to go to pairing mode, what you need to do is press the home button for 10 seconds. All right, so you are going to see the light start flashing there. All right, so you can see it's flashing. It is in pairing mode. However, you can see on the television set itself, nothing's happening. It's still flashing. So that's really not a, a good option as far as just getting it um, to automatically detect. So what I found that works for me, and I've uh, done a short video on this uh, before, is getting the Fire TV application on your phone, on your mobile device, connecting to your Fire TV, and then you can go ahead and go to the menus that you want to, to get this connected. All right, so here's a look at the Fire TV remote. Let's go ahead and launch it. So I actually found a ton of devices. You can see Fire TV Stick Lite, Fire TV Stick, second generation, living room, Fire TV 4K, uh, Fire TV Cube. So a ton of them that's on here. Um, the one I want to connect to, of course, is the Fire TV Cube. So I'm going to click on it. All right, it is going to prompt for a code. All right, you look on the TV now, you can see it is asking for that code um, and my code is displayed right there. So what I'm going to do is just put that code in on the phone. Um, the code there is going to be 5949. All right. All right. So I am connected now, as you can see, now I can use my phone to control my television and just letting you guys know this can be where you stop this video and say okay this is good enough <laughs> let's say you're in a bind you don't have a new fire tv remote or fire stick remote this actually works really well better than expected and um i did a whole video just going over what you can do with this remote definitely um worth checking out no latency there as you can see pretty quick um, and the cool thing about this is once you get it paired, you do have access to on-screen keyboard so you can type using your phone. So like I said, pretty cool um, way to, to get this set up. But of course, for this video, what we're trying to do is get this new remote paired. So now that we have control of our Fi TV, what we're gonna do is go over to our settings. So we're gonna go to controllers and Bluetooth devices. And we're gonna click on Amazon Fi TV remotes. So there's an option to add a new remote and that's what we're going to select um, on the actual mobile device. So we're going to go down one, we're going to add, and this is where uh, you want to go ahead and it's telling you right there on the screen that what you need to do is hold the home button uh, for 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. And we should see that LED start blinking as well. All right, so now you see the LED and the TV still searching. You can see, found the Fire TV remote, ready to pair. So we're gonna go back to the app again, and we're gonna hit select. All right, so while this is still in pairing mode, and now our Fire TV stick remote is now paired with the Fire TV. Like I said, this is a, a way to get this up and running. Um, if you explored other options that doesn't work for you, 
uh, this is a good way to not only find a replacement um, remote control for your Fire TV, but you can also just pair a new remote. So hopefully this video helped. Like I said, sometimes I get these questions and I'm not sure if these were addressed in one of my videos. So better off just making a new video, just showing you guys how to get this up and running. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.